you know, both those guys have strengths, they have weaknesses, and, and it's our job to make sure that we're putting the best person out there to give us a chance to be successful um, on that drive, be successful, you know, offensively, and then find a way to play complementary football, offense, defense, and special teams, and just not screw it up. And a lot of times, I mean, you know, we, we've done that this year. You know, I, I, I know everybody's upset, but, but we're eight and one. I mean, we're not five and three. We're not four and four. All right, let me uh, take my Clemson coaching hat off and put my Clemson fan hat on. How many of y'all been here for – Don's been here for a long time. And guess what? I've sat here and watched this press conference when it was three and eight. I've watched this press conference when it was six and five. I've watched this press conference when the Tangerine Bowl, we're dying to go play in the Tangerine Bowl. No offense to the Tangerine Bowl. You know, no offense to the Humanitarian Bowl, but we get, we get a birth to the Humanitarian Bowl, and we're like, man, this is awesome, yeah. you know. So, like, we got to keep things into perspective, too. I'm upset we're losing. I, I hate to lose. I don't care what I got on my chest. I hate to lose. But at the same time, like, we're 8-1. and one. We went to a Notre Dame team that, guess what, they got football coaches, too. And guess what, they got a lot of pride, too. And we played in a, in, a, in a tough situation, tough stadium, and we got beat. But we're going to go back to work. Because if we had to got back on the plane in South Bend, and let's say we scored 50 points, and everybody's happy-go-lucky over the offense, and wow, we're back, we're still going to walk in the building the same way we walked in the building yesterday and go, what do we got to go fix? Because that's what we do. So, uh, you know, good, bad, or ugly, we always walk in here ready to fix things on Sunday. And then we turn around and we go to practice on Monday and we start a brand new week because the biggest game of the, of the year is this week. It's like that every, every week. So, you know, I'm, I'm not, not going to get on the negative train. Uh, I'm not going to get caught up in the, in the narrative. And, and our players aren't either. And that's our job as coaches too, to make sure our players understand the big picture. And, you know, I've been here for seven years and I've walked in this building on a Sunday after a devastating loss to Pittsburgh and the season's over, just to turn around and go win a national championship about a month and a half later. I've walked in this building with a devastating loss to Syracuse and it's over just to go to the playoff two months later. So, it, you know, nowhere in our building does it say we have to have the number one rated offense in the country. That's not a goal. Nowhere in the building does it say we have to go undefeated. It's not a goal. And when I walked back in the building on Sunday, all our goals were still right in front of us. Everything is still right in front of us. And, and that's my mindset. And when I walk out of that tight end room today, that's going to be the mindset of the tight ends. And they already know it's mindset because they heard that from me first thing Sunday morning when I woke up. We're just going back to work. And that's what we got to do offensively. We're in a rut. and nobody sitting here trying to um, – you know, disagree with that. We've got to play better. We've got to coach better. Um, we've got to put kids in better situations and, and, and account for everything that comes with that. But all we can do is go back to work and make sure that they're confident in what we're doing, and I know they are. Now, now let me inside your head for a second. You said yeah. you told them that. Was that. Did you get up and send them a text? Did you, did you call them? Did you see them? Well, here? crazy enough, you know, we got back in about 4 o'clock in the morning, and a few hours later the sun came up. Now, it was a little cloudy, all right, because there's a little bit of rain dropping. And there for a minute, I thought maybe it wasn't going to come up, but it did. And when it came up, I, I got my butt up and went to church. And the preacher still preached. That was crazy, because I was actually worried he wasn't going to preach, all right, being down on the boys, all right. But he preached, and his sermon was on static. And it, and it was about static, and the static is seasons of a lot of noise. And it's where a lot of outside noise comes in and tries to affect your season and what the truth is, all right, which I thought was very ironic to the situation we were in, right, still in. So, yeah, I mean, after I got done with that, I sent a text out to, to the tight ends and, and just, you know, told them that I loved them, told them that I was proud of them because, you know, uh, you can say what you want, but that entire offense kept fighting the entire time. And we finished on a high note. And that's something to be super positive about going into this week. And I wanted to make sure they understood that. And, uh, but then the flip side of it is, is, you know, we're not patting on the back telling them how great they are either, you know, as an offense and as a tight end group. Like, they're accountable, too, for their play. Just like I'm accountable for my coaching. 
and and they're accountable for their play. So when they come in today, I just want to make sure they know, hey, we, we got everything in front of us that we have said from day one. But we got to go back to work. We got to get better. We got to treat the Monday like we treated the Monday after we beat NC State and Wake Forest, who was ranked at that time. We're going to go fix some things that were wrong in the game. And then from there, we're not going to let this game beat us twice. And that's the mindset that we had to have. And they all responded. You know, I, I love, you know, Brennan Stewart just growing before my eyes, and I love that about him. He's still a young guy, and, you know, he's growing so much. And his response was, Coach, this just makes the story even better. And that's his response. And that just shows you, you know, what the culture of our program does for our kids. And at the same time, they're not listening to, to the static. They're just focused on what, what we got to do to go get better. And then on Saturday, we got to go do it. And, and I can't wait to go do it. I wish, I wish tomorrow was Saturday. I can't wait to go do it. We're not going to backdoor our way into the uh, ACC championship. We're going to go bust the door open Saturday to this ACC championship. And that's our mindset, and that's our goal, and that's what we're going to go do.